Alright guys, today I'm going to talk to you about my top mm, five, no, maybe six Android Wear apps. These are my favorites as of right now, I guess, as of July, um, just because they're what's out, because there's not a lot available yet. But I really do like these applications, and let's go through why I like them, and I'll walk you through all of them, and even show you how to do cool things like uh, that for a watch face right there. So let's get into this. All right, so my first application I want to talk to you guys about right here is called Wear Store. Um, it basically looks exactly like Google Play, um, which is pretty cool. But uh, it's basically what it is is it's an application that brings together all of the Android Wear applications and puts them all in one place here so that you can browse them. There's even a notification up here by the uh, search right there that tells you if a new Android Wear app has been pushed to the Play Store and you can instantly look at the most recent stuff right up there on top. I've looked at mine already this morning so that notification is gone but it's very cool. So basically you scroll through it just like the App Store. Here's like some developer choices of applications. Um, it does have ads. You'll have to deal with that but um, these are like the top dev choices right here for Android Wear application. Here's a bunch of the user preferences, what all the users like on their devices. If it'll load. I mean, this isn't the Play Store, so you just gotta be aware it's not as smooth as a Google application. But um, you can see a lot of these cool applications in here. And then if you want to install one of them, it's actually really, really simple. Um, let me see which one I can install for to show you guys really quickly here. Um, I do have a lot of them already installed because I do like all these applications. Why don't we just do this one for the fun of it just to show you. So here is um, ACW watch face. So you can just click on it. You click up here where it says free and it opens the Play Store. So now you're in the Play Store, not in the Wear Store. And you hit install and it installs it on your device. So it's very, very nice. I like it because it just brings everything into one place for you for all the Android Wear applications. This guy searches them basically daily and anything that new comes out, you'll know about it. So very, very cool. That is why I like that application. Next application I gotta show you guys is going to be right here. It's called, um, right there, Wear Mini Launcher. And once you install it on your phone, it doesn't really have any uh, functionality. But on here, what you can do is, you know, to get to applications right now, you have to click there. You have to scroll down to, come on, start. Not that one. Click. See what I mean? This is like a pain. So you scroll down to start, and then you can scroll through your applications, right? And then start them. So with um, Wear Mini Launcher, you can just swipe up here on the top. I can do it with one hand. It's a little hard. And there is basically like an app drawer right there built into the top. If you swipe down here, it's still your back button. But if you swipe up on the top, it becomes your app drawer, which is really nice. I like this feature a lot. You can even get to brightness very easily right there. A little quick tip app of the brightness application that's built into the app drawer, along with your settings and any other applications you have on your device. Um, so very cool. Another one I guess I will show you because what smartwatch isn't complete without a calculator? You gotta have a calculator on a little smartwatch, right? I mean, seriously. So, definitely that's really cool. So you can see a couple of them that I like right there. There's about three of them. The next one, I guess, the next couple I wanna show you are about watch faces, okay? So, those both get done on the phone, and let me show you. So I'll show you the one that does this watch face, and you'll watch it change even. So it's called Wear Picture Watch. So I'm gonna open it up. I was actually tinkering with this already. That's why it's in there. And here you go. So basically you pick the picture background you want. So I'm gonna do it in my gallery and I'm gonna set up a different one. I go into wallpaper, this is where I get most of my pictures. Here we go, I'm gonna pick that watch face and then I'm gonna scroll over and you get to pick where you want it. So I'm gonna say, um, I'm gonna say right for where I want my clock. Um, padding left and right. So this is padding uh, top, padding left and right, um, clock size. And then I'm gonna pick color. And I think I'm just gonna to try to make this thing black if I can. There we go. Hit okay. And once you set up everything how you want it, 
uh, you just go ahead and hit start fresh or refresh and then here you go shabam there you go I just changed my watch face so this is really cool for adjusting all that fun stuff you can even change fonts and things like that very easily so that's basically how I did my minion face it's very simple and here's another setup of a new watch face for you so I really like this application if you like to mod and hack your stuff this is really fun it's not even a hack it's just just fun to mod it so here's another one this is called um, wear faces and this one is a little bit more in depth because you basically have to edit a PNG file on your computer. Um, I'll show you it how this one works too. Uh, basically, you go to uh, custom, custom wear faces, and then you find your your dialer. So this is like your background of your clock. And I'm going to go into gallery, and here's one that I've created. So right here is a face. Right here is an hour hand. So you have now you have an hour hand that you have to create and there's my hour hand and then here is my minutes hand and my skinny minute hand and these are like I said these are PNG files you have to edit in like Adobe or something like that and then there you can see below it is my clock and then send it to where alright so we can close that out and you go back over to the device and if you want to set it as a watch face you just click there and scroll over to right here your own custom wear face and there you go that is my custom watch face that I created like I said this is a little bit harder because you actually are I mean I drew everything the numbers every everything is created by me um, with PNG files on my computer there's directions in the app that's pretty pretty uh, explanatory but very very cool um, definitely if you like to really like really manipulate your watch face this is the way to do it. if you just want to change your backgrounds maybe your your clock uh, color and font then you want to use the other um, wear picture watch. All right, so I got one more to show you. This one's pretty cool, um, and it's called uh, Bunting right here. And basically, this is allows Twitter to function from your device. So I'm just going to click on it, and it just says to um, start a tweet. So you just want to go in here and uh, say, OK, Google, start writing a tweet. What's up, Twitter? This is Tom. I'm making a YouTube video. And there you go. It's going to send it to my Twitter account. Um, very cool. It also even just set, shows you a notification once it's sent. Um, that, that's pretty neat as well. If you're sending it from your phone, you'll see a notification on your watch that you sent a tweet. Um, but there you go, guys. That is pretty much uh, everything I've got here for this device. Um, applications that I really love. Hope you guys check some of these out yourself. They are, are very, very cool. Just go back to that watch face for right now. And play with it. Like I said, the Wear Store is where it's at for finding new applications for your Android Wear device. This has been a Root Junkie here with the LG G Watch and Android Wear apps, top six apps that I can find that I like right now. And we'll catch you guys in the next one. Root Junkie out. Yeah.